Well, welcome back. You never know what you might uncover when digging in the ground. Denver 7 traffic expert Jason Luber joins us now with what crews discovered in the bottom of the new I-70 tunnel. Yeah, they found a collection of bones from several animals they think was from about 10,000 years ago, including this creature, which they think was an Ice Age camel. Before the last ice age, Colorado was full of animals we don't see here today. The lions, the cheetahs, the dire wolves, giant ground sloths, well, they're not a predator. Mammoths, mastodons, acre herbivores, and bison, though. Bison are still around. So it would make sense when we dig into untouched dirt, we might unearth some of those ancient creatures. That's what happened while digging the westbound tunnel for the Central 70 project. Workers found something they wanted the experts from Paleo Solutions in Denver to look at. They found these bones, one of which turned out to be the tooth of a camel-like creature called camelops. I think that most people associate camels as being a big humped animal that lives in the desert. This species, camelops, is a pretty large animal, um, but it may not have had humps. There's no way to tell because humps don't have bones in them. And we don't have any soft tissue remains of these animals. They're basically just big grazing animals. They would have eaten grass on the plains and they would have probably herded alongside with antelope. In all, about seven fossils were found under I-70, including a tooth from an ancient horse. Paleo Solutions was also involved in the recovery of a larger fossil dug up at a construction project in Thornton in 2017. The other big discovery found underground near I-70 was an old school. So when they built the new school, uh, they demolished the old one and they actually just buried it in the ground. And so we were able to remove that material. Uh, it does contain asbestos and so we, we have had to be very careful about the way we remove that. As construction continues for the eastbound side of the I-70 tunnel, paleontologists will be monitoring the digging, hoping more discoveries will be made. All of the fossils discovered throughout the project will eventually be given to the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. And all this week, we're digging into the details of the Central 70 project. Tomorrow, we're going to be looking at some of the artwork of the project. This was a picture of my girls uh, taking a look. It's also some of the artwork of the project. We're also going to be looking at the history of the project coming up tomorrow. I want to remind you again about what's happening here at the I-70 project. Don't forget, I-70 will be closing between Washington and 270 Friday night at 10 o'clock for the big mile high switch from the viaduct to the new lowered section of the highway. The highway will reopen in its new condition configuration Monday morning at 5 a.m. It should be an interesting change for the way folks drive through there.